Hi, today we are going to do a review and unboxing of this solar powered spray pump. And also we are going to learn different, different parts of it and how to assemble and connect those different components together. So stay tuned until the end of this video because we are going to learn a lot about this kind of solar powered spray pump. So let's unbox and open up our spray pump. So this battery, battery powered spray pump comes with the following components. The first one is this charger here. This charger will be connected to the AC main power supply and it will be used to step down the voltage to the safe level that can be used to charge our battery inside our spray pump. So just connect it to the AC main power supply as I show you here and then connect the other hand to the bottom part of your spray pump. There is a little window as the bottom part of it, so just open it and connect it there in order to charge your spray pump. There are also this kind of nozzles here. There are different types of nozzles. There are four different types of nozzles. So we will choose which one to use. Also, there is this switch handle here. You can see it here. That will be used to decide when to allow the water to flow out or not. Also, there is this spray gun here. That will be connected to the switch handle and to the hose that run out of your sprayer pump. This hose is the one that will be used to take the fluid out of your sprayer pump to your switching handle. It comes with the solar panel attached it at the back side of it and this is very useful features in those areas that doesn't have access to the power grid they can still use the solar panel to charge the battery inside the spare pump. So this is a very particular important advantage in case that there are those areas that don't have access to electricity. You can still use it to charge the battery inside your fridge. So let's see what is inside this spare pump. Let's just remove this cap here. And you can see here, there is this screen filter that will be used to remove the debris that might block out your nozzles. So make sure that you use the filter to remove the debris. And if you try to look inside of it, you can see that there is no handy pump like other normal sprayer pump. Instead, there is a small hidden diaphragm pump at the bottom part of it. That is operated by the battery and that is the one that will be used to pump out the fluid. There is no hand pump like this one that you see here. Instead there is a motor and a diaphragm pump that is operated by the battery. So this is different from that one. You can just, it, you can just switch on your pump and the motor will do the work for you. There is no need to perform a manual pumping. But keep in mind that you should not turn on the switch if there is no water inside the tank as this will ruin your pump inside of it and the battery. So just avoid switching on the pump if you have no any liquid to pump out. In the, in the next video I will also show you how you can charge your phone by using this kind of sprayer pump. You can just use it to charge your phone in case of emergency situation and also I will show you how you can use this kind of sprayer pump as a light source. So now let's see how to assemble different parts of this sprayer pump together. The first step is to connect the hose that runs from your sprayer pump to the switch handle. So just take the sprayer pump, the, the, the hose and the, the switch handle and just squeeze the two together and start to rotate the thread until it fits together. Then after that, it's time to connect the switching handle to the sprayer gun. So just take up your sprayer gun and don't forget to take a rubber and to put a rubber, this rubber come together with your, with your spray pump as you buy it and put it in order to avoid the leakage that might occur around this region. So just put the rubber inside of it before connecting it to the switching handle. After that, just take your switch handle, take a look on the, on the orientation of 
reach I I I put the two together and just rotate the thread in order to fit it. Then before connecting the spray gun to the nozzles, don't forget to also add another another kind of rubber. Just add another rubber on top part of it in order to avoid the leakage of water along this side. So there are uh, two up to three rubbers. Just put the rubber there. Then it's time to choose which kind of nozzle you want to use. There are different kind of nozzles here. Each one will deliver a different flow rate and at a different pressure. So we will choose which kind of nozzle that you, are, you want to use and the, what kind of spray you want to have. So there are different kind of nozzles as you see here. All of this come together with this prayer pump. You can choose which kind of nozzle you want to use. And also you can later adjust the, the flow rate and the spray pattern that you want on your spray. You can see here, this one here produces a scattered spray. So after that, it's time to charge the battery. As you know that the battery that come with this prayer pump is already self-discharged during the storage. It has got a long time on the storage condition in the market. It has lost a lot of power. So don't forget to charge the battery. At the first time before using it, you can just use a, a charger that comes with it. And if you, if you don't have electricity, you can also use a solar panel that comes attached directly at the back part of it in order to charge your spray pump. Don't forget to charge it before using it as the first time. Then after that, put the filter, add your liquids and close up the cap and switch on your pump. There is a little, there is also a little second button at the other side of it that will be used to adjust the, the flow rate that you want to have on your sprayer pump. When the battery is fully charged, it can, the, the battery can keep working and deliver the power to the pump sprayer for up to six hours. When the battery is fully charged, it can operate for up to six hours. In case that there is no enough sunlight, you can just use AC main power supply to charge your sprayer pump. And if there is no electricity, just expose your sprayer pump to the sunlight the day before using it. And you can also charge your sprayer pump while you are using it on the field. But just give it a little bit of time in order, in order for the battery to gain up some powers and to be able to work together with the solar panel. If you're interested in buying this kind of product, the link to buy this product will be in the description of this video. Don't forget to check the description of this video for more details if you want to buy this product. Also, don't forget to wear protective clothes, masks and goggles on your face while spraying uh, herbicides or any kind of chemicals in order to protect yourself from those dangerous chemicals that will harm your health. What you see I'm doing here is that I'm just spraying the normal pure water. There is no any other chemical added to it, so that's why you can see that the spray can even touch my face. This is just for demonstration purpose and so don't forget to subscribe. In the next video I will show you how to charge the phone using this kind of sprayer pump. And in case that your sprayer pump doesn't have a solar panel, I have already made a video on how you can connect an external solar panel to your sprayer pump in order to charge it. The link to this video will be in the description of this video. Subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Enjoy the rest of this part as I'm spraying out.